supposed to be doing for what the calendar is saying at least what they released is on august uh, 14 in monaco kasama ka doon ej uh hopefully yes po um to be honest it, we still don't know i say it depends on the organizing committee if they're gonna you know technically they have their guidelines each of the meetings or the competitions but uh, we're trying to get into competitions right the goal is to be in monaco for sure Okay, so ibig sabihin the the host uh, association or ho organizers have the discretion of putting what what events in a particular in a particular yes, in the Diamond League, so they can choose. Yeah. Yes, and uh, usually uh, they don't really have everything. They don't have all the events in a because it's a single day competition, so they don't really have the time to you ah, know so do the whole. Yeah. The, the whole, the, the whole event. roster of ano, events. Okay. Yes. Po. So, while we're waiting for Sir Popoy, EJ, uh, ano lang, informal lang. So, ngayon na medyo na, na push back yung, yung Olympics for next year, ano yung mga adjustments in the build-up for, ano, for Tokyo 2021, yun na 2020? Have you made adjustments sa kayong programs, etc.? Uh -huh. Um, birds I view, we're basically moving the plans for this year, uh, going to next year. So, uh, the world indoors, for example, uh, which was supposed to be this year, March would be 2021, March mm -hmm. Nepal. So that's basically the biggest competition before Olympic games, but we, it's balik like China, basically the whole China, calendar. Balik, balik ba sa China yun? Yes, but, um, I, I, I'm not really sure about, uh, what's happened, but from what World Athletics I don't believe have said, uh, they're gonna have the, the competition on March in Nanjing, China, which was planned to be this year. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll rephrase my question. I say you you were programmed to compete this July for the mm -hmm. uh, Olympic Games. You build up more was geared towards July, so yeah. basically, na revamp yung program mo from 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 july of this year to july of next year so ano ngayon yung mga kumbaga yung mga steps or phases geared towards uh the tokyo olympic games are you now undergoing and what in what stage are you now oh okay i see um i, I don't remember back in sea games remember i was explaining uh i didn't have time to fully prepare for the southeast Asian games because I competed in the world championship so, in October, then I didn't really have enough time, time to peak for the uh, these Asian games oh, to compete well, for the world indoor, to compete for the yeah. yeah, so basically it's in a way, you know if, I, if I'm to look at it right now, it's a blessing in disguise have time now to finally go down and build up again work on my weaknesses, work on those you know, small groups of muscles that in specific training that you cannot do. So basically building up endurance with building up my strength, the, the, the big chunks. That's what I'm trying to build up right now. Um, plan was to compete oh, June, boy. July, but now we're, we're aiming for August. Okay. So, and then I only see the logo, the log, uh, circle. So ngayon, back, kumbaga, nasa rebuilding stage ka ngayon. You'd say, you'd say you're, you're in the rebuilding stage. Parang ganon. Yeah, more on the yeah, foundation training. Foundation training. BJ. Yes, Bob. Uh, kasi uh, at this point, kung matutuloy yung Olympics, dapat nandun sa almost ano eh, going to uh, peaking, di ba? So, yes, are you saying that you're going down the peak more again and start from zero and peak again next year by July? Um, so, not, not, not exactly. Uh, not exactly. Po. So, ang plan po unong una is mag peak around June, July part of the the year. So, ngayon po hindi yun yung mangyayari. So, basically, we just continued the preparation. So, delayed in a way we delayed the, or we not not delayed but basically we made the foundation training a little bit longer so we're still on it then 
we're gonna peak on August because there's gonna be issues. You know, to stay sharp and to stay, how do you know, to you know, feel that, you know, that, that's how you improve, you compete. So we try to prepare for those competitions that IWAF is saying that's going to happen. Then we're going to go back again to foundation, which would basically resume to the regular training level. Or, I mean, regular season or calendar. Are you looking forward you, to... Uh, okay, lang. Sige lang. Okay. Sige, Peter, palit ka na lang. Guys, would you say... Well, that this, uh, here, but, but we could mark the whole procedure. This bossing is uh, having trouble, you know, navigating. He's uh, originally he's supposed to use his iPad, but not rain. So he's using his mobile phone, but it seems to be as a parang ano hindi compatible. So he can hear us, he could see us, but he can have his audio jaga yung video. So, oh. lurker. But maybe later in 15 minutes, he will be able to use his uh, iPad. So, okay, oh. let's start the whole thing. First part uh, uh, is uh, on EJ. Um, some of the questions uh, in uh, tanong na ni Bong. But initially, the whole scope of our conversation for this first part is about EJ. So, first question, ako na mag start the ball uh, rolling. How are, you, how are you? Edward, oh, ready na. Ready na. Ayan, okay, sir. Yay! Hey, Welcome, nice. Papoy. Good evening, sir. Hello, good Welcome, evening, sir Popoy. So, EJ, how are you? Good you. Um, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, so far, so good. Um, the track is open. So, na hapon ng sayo na pule sa studio ng mga open pule. So, yeah, it's not so bad. Okay, friends, reporters, shoot your questions now. Ino na ako. Ah, EJ. EJ, uh, uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, how do you consider this uh, postponement of one year? Is it is it beneficial sa you? Mas gusto mo ba to o uh, oh, do, do will you have better time to improve your your uh, performance? You're welcome. Um, to be honest, uh, and now now I do. Uh, to be honest, at the start I didn't I didn't really want it to be postponed. You know, I I felt like. I, I'm I'm boss. If I I don't have Olympics this year, what's what am I preparing for? Uh, that's that's the whole mindset since last year, since two years ago, since 2016. You know, so uh, I was a bit lost after that for maybe a few weeks. Then, you know, I had a talk with my coach, and basically he said like, you're, you're an athlete, so even if the Olympics in the next eight years, four years, five years, whenever it will be, you know, you're you're trying to constantly improve yourself each day, so. That's that's a that's a wake up call in a way for me. So I, I just realized it doesn't really matter now. The Olympics will be this year or next year or whenever it is. You know, I'm still gonna train. I'm still gonna try to improve my stuff. You know, work on my weaknesses and just try to get better each day. Yeah, but AJ, uh, I'm sure you had plans after the Olympics for next year. So those yeah. those those plans will have to be pushed back also. You know, like going yeah. back to studies, probably coming home. Getting married. What is that then? I think getting married is too far. But <laughs> my my plan actually after the games is take a short break. You know, just to be honest, not physically, more mentally. I just want to. Uh, it's not that I'm tired of voting, but it's you know the everyday being critical on myself on the, the things that I eat, you know, you control what I eat, I control my weight, I, I check everything, you know. To be honest, I'm not, <laughs> it's not an easy thing to do for a really long time. It kind of gets into your head and you, 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 you love the event, you love the sport, but you still do get tired from time to time, you know, that's why we need some break. EJ? Meron ka bang yes. mga target uh, target heights this year especially for the Diamond League yung height uh, um distance. to be honest I want to I want to be dumping 580 in every competition that's that's my goal to be consistent um last um, year I jumped 580 one one time then I basically jumped 70 75 76 maybe a couple of times like 3 4 times so I want to be on the 580 mark in almost every competition. So knowing that I'm consistent, that would propel me to greater heights. And, you know, that's basically saying that I'm improving 
even if it's not the height, uh, just consistency itself is it's a big deal because that's what you want to do in the Olympic Games. You want to perform uh, like as regular as you can, you know, as, as the best as you can. So consistency for me right now for this year is what I'm aiming for. So 580, 5.80 yeah. meters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so doing yun na rin ang isang uh, in practice ba now that you're wala pang competitions na na meet mo na yung ano yung height na yung yung clearance na. Uh, to be honest, at the moment we're not really jumping on my full approach because uh, as I've said, we're still in a foundation like build up pa rin po. Okay. So we're just doing twelve steps, you know, twelve ten steps. Sometimes we do sixteen, but we're not really going on a full approach yet. So we're because the workload is still very high, so we can't really taper to do a you know a high quality jump jump session with the full approach and you know, all that intensity. So so far I'm on track. Um, technique wise, I think I'm I have improved myself since the Southeast Asian here. So I think I'm a lot stronger as well. Uh, to be honest, I, I'm. I'm just trying to look forward to competing. You know, I I miss the competition in in some way or form. EJ, how 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 is how is the condition there? Are, they, are you also on lockdown? How many two months now? Um, yeah, actually more. Um, it started March, early, first week of March. Then uh, basically there was like uh, different phases. Nung una po, sabi nila, um, yung north lang po ng Italy yung lockdown. So, during that time, we're not really affected kasi down south kami. Then, wala na naman masyadong cases. That lasted, I think, two, three days. Then, sabi nila, okay, the whole Italy is on the red zone. So, lahat po kami na, na lock sa, sa, it, sa cities kung nasan po kami. Then, during that time, yung training center nag, nagkaroon din sila ng new rules na Anybody who's living outside cannot train inside. So during that time, um, I was forced to stay inside the training center. But that's take for another two, three days. We were forced out of the training center. We cannot stay inside. Everybody who lives inside needs to stay outside. The month. Then AJ, after that, we did oh, uh, Peter, just a second. Ko lang yung tanong mo. Sige, sige. Ako lang ako sa parang personal impact sa kanya. So, so how, how was the pandemic uh, how was the pandemic affected you personally? Yeah. We want to know how you felt, how what went into your mind throughout, especially the, in the early part of the uh, those that, that, uh, uh, chaotic situation. Um, that that's a lot, you know. Um, I was in <laughs> just in January before everything kind of blew up. Then I went to Italy. Uh, the cases was not really that bad. But uh, during that time, it was more of uh, you know people. I mean, the third wave, except on Chinese, so oh. <laughs> you know they they, they they were a little bit afraid. <laughs> uh, then after that, basically when things got worse, you know, I felt like I was always in the middle of it. Uh, not saying that the world revolves around me, but you know the changes that everybody is. Uh, applying or imposing the rules you know I, to be honest we're, we're all affected and during that time uh, olympics wasn't postponed so i really feel like i am I'm, I'm trapped up, you know i'm i'm, I'm caged in, in in some way that i cannot do what I'm, I'm supposed to do so that's that's taxing mostly in, in my mind you know like it's a lot of different um things that just runs in your head, you know, you dwell on it, you kind of spiral down, then you try to find your answers. You know, is, that the most difficult, <laughs> is that the most difficult yeah. that you experienced during the lockdown? Because uh, uh, it seems psychological, mentally, emotional uh, 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 problems. How do you cope with it? Uh, uh, that, does the uh, virtual tsaka mga, mga, ano ba tag yan? You're able to talk to your family uh, lagi on on uh, uh, video video conferences. Uh, does it help? Um, it, it does help, you know. Um, but knowing that my family is in Philippines, uh, currently the situation there is not, not the best, you know. Of course, I, I worry. Of course, I think you know. I, I want to be there. I want to be with my family right now, you know. 
I've never I've been homesick before, but to be honest, this is probably the worst case. If I can just go back, I, it's like if I if it's just me, I, I want to be back home. If it's just me as me, you know, not as an athlete, but you know, I, I have responsibilities as well, and I have. You know, I promise I'm gonna do everything that I can, not just to the Filipino people, just to me as well. So if if I stand in the Olympic Games next year, knowing that I could have done something more, um, that's that's something that I I would for sure regret. And to be honest, it's it's hard because it's 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 battling in my battling head right it. now that you know what, what what's much more important to be with your family or the things that you have said before. Um, but your it's, dad is supposed to be with you, right? Your dad is with you well, there in Italy. Your dad? Uh, no, I'm I'm alone. I'm alone. Oh. Uh, I'm training with Italy. Uh, I'm living alone. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, now, one, one more thing. Now, do you plan to go home uh, when everything goes normal? Uh, one year is a long time. Uh, do you plan to go home before the Olympics or stay there uh, all the way? <laughs> um, I think I'll be back there. home. But... Uh, probably I'll be back home when, I have, when the competition's done, you know, when the season's finished. Uh, maybe late October, maybe November. I'm not really sure when the season will be done. Uh, okay. To be honest, basically that's that's the only time I, I, I'm supposed to go back. You know, as an athlete, I need to do, I need to train, I need to prepare for all the things, that, the competitions, even if it doesn't really affect those things, but you know, to stay sharp and to stay ready for for Olympics, I need to compete. I need to stay, you know, within my compet competitors. How many athletes are you with now, EJ? In the group, it's just yeah, another yeah. athlete, uh, Thiago. It's a good friend of mine. <laughs> it's just um, me and Thiago. Okay, okay. you okay. and Thiago. Okay. You okay. Paul Volters are there now. Yeah. Thiago is from what country? Brazil. Brazil. Ah, okay. Are you an Olympic champion? It's Olympic champion. Yeah. EJ, I have another question. Yes, uh, I don't want to bring you to like uh, to, to dwell back to the parang difficult times or uh, negative moment. But just uh, as I'm just really curious as a like as a fan to know, understand, and to sort of like uh, uh, get the get the straight from the, the athlete himself. As an elite elite athlete who was who's ready, really raring to go to compete in the Olympics. Because we understand that if you're an Olympian or ready to compete in the Olympics, it's really singular talaga yung, parang yung, uh, focus mo, your psychological preparation and everything. So you're, you're supposed to be like really 100% ready. But when mm -hmm. the IOC announced that they're going to postpone it for a year, how did it impact you? How, how would you describe that initial feeling? What, was your world spinning around or what was the initial? Oh, just, just lost. Uh, ligaw, kumbaga parang nabigla na wala ng direction. Tipong, I was just explaining this to, to someone a while ago. I said, you know, you put the carrot in front of the horse, the horse will run to the carrots. But when you remove the, the carrot, he doesn't know where he's gonna go. Uh, so I was, my mind was on that, you know, I was, okay, I was aiming for Olympics and I'm going to train. I need to do everything that I can. Then after that, I can do what I want. So you see, that's, that's what the mindset was, you know, you know, everything that I will be doing will be going to Olympics. And when IOC announced that I, I was basically like, what now? Well, you know, I'm like, so what am I going to do now? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Uh, so how long, how long did it take to sort of like uh, tell yourself that, okay, I've accepted already the situation. How long? Parang, did it take you like uh, like one day, two days, one week, one month to, 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 to really accept the whole situation? To be honest, weeks, uh, I think one to two weeks. Um, what really hit me was when my coach talked to me and we had that, 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 that talk, you know. Because uh, he he saw that you know I, I still train but you know kind of feels different. And I said, like, I mean you know si coach Vitali, so okay, so you yeah. know how he how critical he is in in training and he saw that you know we're kind of just 
me, not just me and Tiago, you know, we're kind of floating in a way, you know, parang wala, not 100% in in the training. Like, our mind is a little bit out of the, you know, out of that training session. And basically, we had that, that talk and he, the good thing about him, he had trained a lot of world-class athletes, so he knows how the mind kind of works. And he had that talk with me, like saying, like you're you're an athlete. It doesn't matter if the competition is gonna be today, tomorrow, the next year. You, each day you go in the track, you train. And basically, I just accepted that, and I kind of saw that as a, you know, I have more time to prepare. I have more time to be ready, and you know, that's a that's a thing that I should be looking forward to, and not think that okay olympics not gonna happen this year I'm, I'm still qualified i'm still gonna go to 2021 tokyo olympics you know i'm gonna be there so i just will use this time to be ready and be prepared and be the best that i can do when i come to the olympic games so aside from coach uh, vitali uh, what what do you think helped you to bring it back to the to, to that right i know right <laughs> Aside from Italy, um, to be honest, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The, the way the way my my head works, when I have something uncertain, I try to find answers to. You know, I try to to find sense to what I'm doing. Um, that's that's what I was looking for. Uh, I have received a lot of calls. I received a lot of calls from people. Uh, I've talked to my psychologist, but you know nobody truly understands what I go through here unless it's my coach because I, I'm with him almost every day. He sees me twice a day. He trains with me. He coaches me. He calls me around. You know, we, we're basically like a, a family in, in a way here. And in the way my coach works, it's... It's totally different to regular coaches, I would say. And basically, he, he basically slapped the sense out of me. In a way. EJ, do you have everything you need there? Uh, uh, or meron na kailangan, what, what, do you, what do you need more than what you have now? Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm good here. Um, to be honest, I have funding until August. Um, that's what uh, that's what we have from the PSC that that had been already been released for me. So I'm using that budget. Um, to be honest, I'm a, I'm a little bit overboard. You know, I, I'm paying a little bit more than I used to because I used to just eat the training center, which was prepared by someone, you know, and it's cheaper. Now I need to go to the supermarket, buy it, cook it, and you know, it, it's okay. I'm still very blessed to be able to do what I do and to be honest there's a lot more people in need and I'm not really that you know I'm I'm okay I'm good compared to others I'm good so malaki EJ yung nasasabi nga we read and we've reported that the PSC has recently approved in 2 million so when you heard that and when you read that kumbaga, was that a big moral boost for you of course, you know, yung, 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 stability. Yung, yung, yung approval ng funds na yon for your build-up for the Olympic Games. For sure, you know, that, that, that helps a lot. You know, that's the stability of the support because I can't do what I do here. Uh, I can't find myself here, to be honest. I, I, I can't afford to, to live here. I can't afford to train with my coach. The things that I spend, it's, I cannot do it alone. And that stability that PSC a gave a big thing, but you know, at the same time, I'm not, I'm not banking on it until it's, it's, it's released. You know, I, I'm very happy, I'm very thankful for that it's said being approved. But as long as I'm, I'm just taking it day by day. I don't know if this is the virus making me think like this, but you know, I'm just taking it day by day. As long as I haven't received the funding yet, I'm, I'm just, and there's still a little bit of, uh, you know. Uh, uncertainty in a way but you know i don't know i think this is just me being <laughs> about the things happening we've been praying for you ano your daily training routine mo ngayon, uh ej just to go um, go get us through what happens on a monday what happens in the morning then lunch then pabalik 
Ayo, ayo daily training routine mo for for this past month. So most of the time I train six to seven, six to eight hours a day. So now I, it's not part of training, but I try to do some rehab for my back. You know, I, I had some problem this winter, some weaknesses in my lower back that we are trying to to strengthen. So I'm doing that. Then usually my training starts around nine nine thirty and ends on of 30 sometimes one today it ends on 1 p.m then we resume again at around 4 or 4 30 then it ends at 7 30 so usually that's that's my cycle um we don't really follow the week like we still train on Monday. so um we because my coach has uh, like a cycle of training. um he knows when what's the rest day he basically tells us when when it will be the rest day so to be honest, we, we work, I'll say like four or five days, then rest one day, then this kind of cycle. EJ, I'm sure you have a target height. Siguro uh, uh, kasi you still have one year. Ano target height mo when it comes uh, pagdating ng next Olympics? Uh, six? <laughs> Siyempre, target lang naman. Uh, I mean, say, what attainable target? I mean, to be honest, I, I, I do believe 100% that I can jump six meters. That's that's not like even a joke. I, I, I know, like, I, I know I, I can. And, you know, it's like, it's just a matter of me getting my... That's not even the question that now for me. My, my, my question is how often I can jump that and how consistently I can be competing at that level. So, you know, it's, it's a matter of... Because I, I've seen how, how I jump and I've seen the... Uh, mistakes that I've done and uh, to be honest that 580 jump is really ugly now <laughs> looking back technically speaking it's like it's really ugly to the day to, to the way I'm bolting right now so you know knowing that that there's so much room for me to to improve uh, to be honest I, I'm not setting any height there uh, I just want to get that <laughs> If that's six meters, then so be it. If it's more, then you know that that's what I need to jump. Um, I don't know. It's, it's I don't really have a height. Uh, it's just constant improvement right now. Related to that question, EJ, you know, uh, like for example, if the competition would be tomorrow, and then knowing your fellow competitors, how they are, because all of you are definitely affected by the situation that we're in. Will you be yeah. will you say that you're ready? <laughs> Hypothetically, if the competition will be tomorrow. I, I wouldn't say I'm, I'm I would be ready, you know, but I don't think anybody would be ready if the Olympic Games would be tomorrow. But, but you know, I, I'm I'm in a good I'm I'm in a good shape. I'm happy where I am, you know, and the I mean fitness wise and jumping wise I'm I'm uh, I just, I haven't really peaked, so I'm, I'm not going to say I'm ready, so <laughs> just that, just that. Guys, do you have any questions? Since, since Thiago has been your partner for so many so many months, so many years now, how, how does he challenge you to do better? Um, I look at him as a... Uh-huh. Um, yes, yeah, I look at... I look at him as a kuya, um, I knew him since I was 18, back in 2014. He was Thiago, not the Olympic champion yet. He was just another athlete like like me in a way, you know. And, you know, I look at him and I look up to him. And now I'm, I'm competing with him each day. And it's it's a funny dynamic what we have, to be honest. If you, you see us train... We kill, we kill each other in training, you know. Like I, I, there's some part of training that I'm stronger than him, and there's some part of training that he's stronger than me. But like we compete, we kill each other in training to push ourselves in a, in in a in competitive way. But after the training, we're like like good buddies, you know. It's I think that's a good thing for us. That's so, why we can. So you friendly push rivalry, each other. Talaga. friendly rivalry. Like. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, <clears throat> EJ. Ah. Okay, Paul, Peter. Oh, ah, okay. You you mentioned that you train with the uh, with you with that with that guy, no? Uh, you you train mm -hmm. together. So, uh, how is it? Every time you jump, you have to disinfect uh, the mat. 
because that is one of the uh, we've been discussing uh, uh, pole vault as one of the events in Enfield that would be that would need disinfecting every time a jumper jumps. Yes, it has to be disinfected. How do you do it? Do you disinfect it or just just you know just just leave Actually, it <laughs> Yeah, last training <laughs> session. We we were told that we need to bring our own uh, like blanket <laughs> that we need to put on top of the the pit. <laughs> uh, besides yung training, what does uh, EJ do during his downtime to cope to cope with the stress of Olympic build up? To cope with the stress of the crisis over there. Anong ginagawa mo to, ano, to really, kumbaga yung mga, anong mga stress reliever mo, video games? <laughs> yung how do you re relieve your stress, EJ? No, well, I, how, well, do you, how do you relieve your stress? No, well, I don't well, like to EJ. EJ, yes? How, how, do you, how do you relieve your stress? How do I relieve my stress? Uh, I play other sports. <laughs> I run around. Uh, I, to be honest, I find training to be less stressful than you know. Volting is stressful for me because I need to be very critical at myself on how to do things. But other parts of training for me is more, um, how you say, therapeutic in a way. Um, it relax, not relaxes me, but you know, it kind of like long runs, it, it helps me just relax and, and connect to, to myself and just know myself even better. So it sounds very old thing, what old, old, would say, but, uh, okay, but just that thing. Downtime, mom. Nagbabasa ka ba libro or just uh, play video game? Kumaga, no? but at least two, two. Um, basically, you know, to Hindi na makil na para magkakayat other distractions. Um, um, I try to learn new things. Uh, I, I'm learning how to cook. Um, I haven't really played <laughs> with games like as much as I want. I've been like, um, I, I used to play a lot of video games, but right now, not not so much. Uh, I mean, I try to to be honest. Like, I clean my house, clean the apartment, you know, clean the place, and just learn how to live. I think. Uh, I don't really have other hobbies. I, I mean, I'm picking up tennis right now uh, because I find it very, very calming for me. I don't know why, but and the way I focus on it, uh, my coach wants me to play it as well because the way I focus on every time I hit the ball, it's the same way I should be focusing every time I bolt in in uh, in training. So it's. It's uh, Actually, so that, that center has mm -hmm. a tennis court, pala, na. yes. Ko. Tapos, sino ka, pa, 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 uh, no, no, there are some tennis players, uh, sometimes, and there are other athletes in both. So I play with them. Um, oh, okay. then there's coaches before uh, this period, so there's that. Yes. EJ, you took uh, fluent Italian now. <laughs> no, no, far from it. <laughs> barok, barok, <pa> rin po. <laughs> and, and then, yeah, uh, hi EJ. Follow up ko lang dun sa kaninang kiner mo na naglalagay ko ng blanket dun sa pit. Mm -hmm. Meron na bang ibang mga protocols pa uh, to parang preventive measures uh, para dun sa COVID? Kasi uh, it will be the new normal pagdating ng, pag nag-resume na yung mga tournaments. Um, to be honest, uh, for the training center, they have rules. Um, every time na papasok kami, we need to get uh, temperature check. You know, that's just basic stuff, to be honest. But also inside, when, when we in the fitness gym because the fitness gym is indoor so we cannot stay more than three people there um usually the coaches are outside to uh there's glass windows there's glass doors uh, so they can see us um 
I, to be honest, I don't think the blanket thing is gonna stick. Because uh, I mean, he, even if you put a blanket there, you, your sweat is gonna go down. You know. It's, I think to be honest, it's hard to assume sports. Just not just track and field, like all around sports. While this uh, coronavirus is going on, until we have some kind of cure and how, how much we know, like you know, there's. There's a lot of things going on that I don't really understand fully. In connection with that, EJ, ano, uh, how has this uh, situation, this uh, COVID pandemic, affected your physical dynamics with your teammates, with Tiago, with Coach Vitali? Parang nagkaroon ba ng parang uh, distinct difference on how you move around? Or uh, parang kung baka na-pruning ba kayo sa isa't isa? How, 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 yeah, how, actually... <laughs> Um, there was a time Thiago was very fun and, you know, every time he touched something, he has his alcohol and he just keeps doing this. <laughs> then I think I, I kind of had that pace as well. Actually, my, my hands kind of cracked, you know, because of using so much, so much hands and like washing your hands each time. Um, but right now, you know, um, I'm very lucky that Formia is very safe because we have six cases when the lockdown started and then we ended with six recoveries and there's no new new cases here um at the moment we feel safe because there's nobody going in and out of the city um uh, i don't know what will happen after um to be honest now well done beso beso that, that's something that italians do so now you don't you don't see that uh handshake sometimes but very rare you know like it's something new but something odd but it's okay AJ, you, yeah. you, you, you cook your own food. Well, uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure you, you, you hardly find Filipino food there or mga gulay na yung mga usual na So, have you ad adapted to the uh, Italian food by, by, by this time? Ang mga kinakain mo dyan, pizza, um, pasta. <laughs> I cannot eat pizza. Um, uh, I have what, what do you usually cook? Yes, I can. Um, I have a meal plan actually. Uh, uh, I usually eat quinoa as my carbohydrates, then I eat fruit. Um, I eat salad almost every three, three, four times a week. So, uh, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say it's Italian. Um, it's much more. Much does, someone help you, does someone help you with your diet plan? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, does someone help you with your diet plan? Yes, actually, uh, Miss Carl, she's, uh, she's uh, uh, the, in a way a nutritionist as well. Um, I have I have here my plan actually. Like I have another three sets of uh, food plan. Oy. How I oh, must eat. Okay. <laughs> menu. <laughs> so, <laughs> menu ka talaga. Yeah, anyway. Have you gained weight? So have you gained uh, I gained weight at the start of the quarantine. I wouldn't yeah, yeah, lie about that. But... It looks like yeah, uh, uh, ilang pounds, ilang kilos. Uh, I usually am 78 to 79. I, I raised to 81, I think, 81, 81 kilos. So that's two, two kilos more. But uh, now I'm back to 79, 80, 78 and a half. So it's all good. Okay. Across lang ba yung ano? Yung where you live? Just across the training center. Lang. How far are you living? Uh, it's by walk. It's maybe five to ten minutes. Hmm. It's it's near. It's near. So, talagang konti lang ang people that you mingle with because yeah. that's how. EJ, okay. well, I'm very yes, but. Di ba usually pag nagjump ka kailan mo na mga massage, masul. <laughs> Di wala na yung ngayon. Sana mo oh, do it yourself dalahat. Ni distancing ni, eh. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Um, not not exactly. Um, you know, we have our physio. We have our physio uh, with Tiago and me. We have our uh, Nico, Nico Viscusi. He's my physio, so he still does the physiotherapy. But you know, oh. it, it's it's weird. That, a mascara. And in that way, it's very weird. Yeah, we wear masks. We don't really greet each other. <laughs> you know, before you enter, you you spray alcohol. <laughs> Imagine si Dodong ka rin gano'n, no? parang hindi mo pwede hawaan si Dodong pero mamassage ka na so medyo <laughs> weird in a way. Hey, ba rin require mag-test, mag EJ? 
po. Pag-test. Yung, ka, yung, yung mga, yung, yung mga, swab test. test. Swab test. Kayo ba rin yung ah. Like, yeah. uh, yung testing for coronavirus? Yeah. 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 Test. Uh, yeah, we we got tested back in March second week. Um, actually, the training center kind of sponsored that test tempo. Um, everybody who was living inside or, or training inside in a way was tested. Um, and, I mean, luckily nobody tested positive, so <laughs> we felt oh, you know safe. <laughs> Okay, you go out and buy food. Ah, So, yes, uh, how do you, how do you, how do you, uh, what precautionary measures do you take para hindi ka mano, ma, ma contaminate? Um, I have my mask. I have my my gloves, you know. When when I go there, and to be honest, I, I go when there's really nobody around. You know, the Italians uh-huh. they like to take siesta in a way. So I know <laughs> around this time, like like this time, it's there's not gonna be a lot of people. It's like just no people. Uh, that's the time I go to the supermarket. What climate thing, Jan? Is it summer? Uh... Summer. Summer, it's it's oh, hot now. Meet, it's like we meet like Sunday uh, at nine o'clock. Mega ani araw pa. Ten o'clock. Yes, may araw uh, pa. around around eight 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 to nine. Mega araw pa. Po. Oh. EJ, uh, Peter, can I ask a question? Uh, uh, in connection with what we were talking about, uh, what are what are the some of the hardest challenges that you face? As an expatriate athlete, training in a foreign land without any one from your country or from your family, sort of like physically or uh, really assisting you, how was it? It's it's a lot of things. Uh, of course, I don't speak the language, so I'm very restricted in making friends in a way. So. Um, to be honest, I can count the people uh, here with my hands, with my fingers in my hands, uh, who I know that I can speak to. Uh, to be honest, I feel sometimes I feel disconnected, not just not just here, not just at home. You know, I just feel disconnected because I, I I have friends in the Philippines, but when I'm here, I, I'm not with them. I'm not hanging out with them. You know, I don't I don't see them. I don't talk to them as much. So, you know, it's a it's a very nomadic life in a way uh, a little bit sad to s- if if you're thinking as a normal per- person it's it's a bit sad because we, i don't really have a lot of the people uh, a lot of connections a lot of friends but you know another thing connected to that is uh i would say racism is always there but it's not completely eradicated you know there was a competition i remember in padova then i didn't understand italian so this guy tagged me in in his instagram story then i, I want to meet and he's like okay he this guy just in my house basically this is like a, a rough translation of what was written there it's like this guy just cleaned my house in one competition and you know i didn't know that i shared that and i, I was i was happy that i thought they were happy that i won it but you know, there, there's racism there. Um, that thing still happens from time to time, but you know, I, now I, I, I stay here for, for quite some time now, so I, I know how, how to kind of put myself in, in some way. I'm, I'm not saying that Italians are racist, but um, there are some, there are some. It's not a perfect world. EJ, so, Mr. Capistano. Yeah. Mr. Capistano earlier, uh, mentioned that IAF uh, uh, may schedule or already have scheduled the uh, competition this coming August. It's about three months from now. Are you going? Are you planning to compete there, uh, EJ? Um, yes, uh, I'm planning to take part in the Diamond League. Uh, I think that's the highest uh, circuit for track and field. Um, then they, we have the Golden 
no, the Golden Guy creates more Diamond League World Challenges. So I'm hoping that I can get into the Diamond League meets, which I, I was able to do last year. Um, uh, it, it's going to be tough about the travels. But, um, it's around Europe, then there's one or two in the US, and there's three in the in Asia, if I'm right. Ay, Europe, no problem. Europe train lang yun eh. At least hindi ka naka-enclose sa that job ng aeroplano. Yeah, but it, it still depends for the travel ban and everything. That's why so I said it's, I they say it's fine, but I, I feel like it's still a little bit of too early. It's a, a bit tentative, you know. To be honest, I cannot bring my post through the train, so I still need to fly ah, yeah. <laughs> or drive. So you, you're, you're definitely going to compete there. So as of now, you're already training for that. Yes, that's the goal. Okay. Good. PJ, yes. may mga phone-in question tayo dito. <laughs> una una, okay. No want to, parang to be the harbinger of a uh, menace. Ah. So hypothetically, if na uh, if the uh, Olympics is definitely cancelled, uh, what would be your plans? Sorry to ask that question. We'll know that by October, yata, that's, 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 that's yeah, that, that's hard. Um, I'm banking on my coach. I said I'm going to be in the 2024 Olympic Games. And, you know, that's. I'm hoping for a really good one in 2021 now. Uh, um, to be honest, this is, you know, I'm, I'm 24. Um, quarter life, in a way, is hitting me too. You know, I'm, I, I need to think of um, my future as well. Um, I'm being honest as, as honest as I can be. You know, I need to think about what I'm going to do with my life as well. And to be honest, doing sport, it's not really cutting it right now. Um, I want this and I decided to go all out for Tokyo 2020 and I'm going to be sure I'm going to be there. Uh, I'm going to do whatever I can. Um, if it's cancelled, I think that's still going to haunt me. So I, I think I'm going to go for Paris, if, if not. But I, I want to, I, I really want Tokyo I really want it badly, and I, I want it. I want to do good, really good as well. Like, um, it's it's hard to say um, what I'm gonna do after Tokyo, but you know, I'm I'm here, and to be honest, I'm I'm still enjoying vaulting. I still love uh, jumping, and um, it's it's a tough question to be honest. Yeah, um, it's hard because it's um, it's not an easy easy task to do what I'm doing here and there are times that I think what am I doing is it worth it you know um just that sorry sorry EJ yeah, to uh to oh no worries no worries that, uh, hard no, question. No, no worries yeah okay no worries. uh okay another question phone-in question what are your thoughts on the uh Duplantis uh, uh garden clash Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we wanted to do that. Um, um, Tiago was invited to do that as well. And I was, I, I, I want to do that as well. But you know, we didn't have a place to jump during that time. Um, I know Mondo; he's a good friend of mine as well. I mean, not a really, really close friend like Tiago, but we're talking. Uh, Reno, not not much, <laughs> but Sam is a good friend of mine. Um, those guys are are very fun people, and you know. They're very inspiring. The more you know them, they're like athletes at that level. They have this different kind of mindset, and you know the way they think. It's it's a totally different world for them. This they see the world in a totally different thing. And it's fun. I, I I'm hoping that they will have another one, and hopefully now we have a place to jump. And I really want to join on that thing. Um, may I ask a question either, by uh, Sir Popoy or by uh, Boss Terry? Uh, uh, so, uh, at this point, what, what are the plans of Patapa uh, for the for the year? Uh, yes. Uh, do you plan to resume? Uh, yes, we plan to resume. Uh, training? Fact, yes. Vision? Yes, we have, uh, in fact, we have a new training protocol uh, which oh. teaches how our athletes will, will uh, conduct themselves in training 
In fact, you will receive a copy of it tonight. Uh, it's the wow. same copy that we will send to the Philippine Sports Commission. No? So the training will continue. We have the National Open this um, wow. December, first week of December. And uh, that National Open will be a qualifier to the Olympics uh, oh. because it will start the uh, second week of December. Now, um, we are planning on having the weekly relays, okay? And this is dependent on the, this is dependent on the plan of the government on the quarantine. Issue. I understand that yesterday, the IATF issued a, issued a, made public a resolution, which they passed on May 22, saying that from, uh, from the ME, MECG, we will move on to the GCM, and then we will be moving to the modified general uh, quarantine or community. And that is where they said sports events will be allowed, provided sports events like track and field, provided that the audience is limited to 50% of capacity. Okay, so at least there is light at the end of the tunnel. Sports events will now be allowed by around July, August. Which, which fits perfectly, perfectly into our timing. Now, there are still some foreign competitions left because there were about seven or even 10 competitions that our athletes were not able to attend because of the quarantine here and quarantine there, starting with the, with the indoor championship in uh, Nanjing, I think, uh, and then all the way up to, all the way up to, May. Uh, there were so many things. By the way, uh, let me just clarify. <clears throat> the budget of EJ, uh, because he, failed, he just mentioned August, it's, that's up to August 2021. Uh, oh, okay. the, the PSE increased his allocation. In fact, his parents were the one who did, went to the PSC, worked it out with us, and it was approved several days ago. So uh, there is enough funding for uh, for EJ. That funding was mainly for accommodation, and I think they will request for additional budget for the fee of uh, competition fee, sir. No, 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 the coaching oh. fee. Ah, coaching, coaching fee. fee. Okay. Italy. 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 So. Walang kailangan problemahin sa funding. Terry, you wanna add anything? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Sir Terry, uh, well, before you share you all the projects, uh, let me roll out the teaser video para they would be yeah. like a okay, backgrounder. I'll present, I'll share you uh, what Sir Terry is about to discuss as to uh, forthcoming all the projects that uh, Patafa has uh, put in line. I'll share it now. Okay.
Okay. Okay. Did you see that? No. I did. Hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola. Something went bad. I think Edward was uh, refer uh, Edward was referring to the uh, programs uh, laid out by the uh, Papapa. Uh, essentially, these are uh, uh, teaching and uh, uh, teaching and mentoring uh, uh, coaching uh, program, essentially for uh, 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 teachers uh, in uh, grade school and high school for the athletic uh, uh, program. Which was, uh, Five. And uh, at the same time, on a parallel basis, uh, I there is uh, another program for uh, uh, coaches. Uh, uh, athletic, uh, the athletic, uh, athletics coaches uh, education system. Uh, this time, it will be on a on a webinar. Through a, through a video, uh, Edward, since uh, your video presentation is not enough. Okay, uh, I'll try you it again. You can expound on this, yeah. Uh, I'll try it again. Do you see the screen that I'm sharing now? We can see you. Mm How -hmm. about this this whole screen did you see hola 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 did you see that Let me just fix the Did you see anything in the screen? No. Um, yes. There's no screen. Uh, if I play it, I think it will be working. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I can play it again. No. No, no, no. Okay, man. Okay, Sir Terry. Yeah. Sir Terry, could, uh, well, uh, like, like I mentioned, uh, for the rest of the year, uh, starting in July, we have a number of uh, programs, uh, all by uh, uh, the web. Uh, I mentioned a while ago the kids' uh, athletics uh, instructors course. And then, uh, secondly, the athletic coaches education uh, system. And then the third, the uh, World Athletics uh, Coaches Education and Certification System. And lastly, and lastly, we have the National Technical Officiating uh, Course. These are all technical stuff, uh, primarily aimed at uh, 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 
uh, enhancing uh, uh, the coaching, coaching and, uh, and officiating level uh, in the Philippines to get us to the to the next level, which is the world uh, world class uh, uh, coaches and uh, officiating. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the first one was that kids the uh, athletics. Uh, uh, the kids' uh, athletics instructors uh, course, uh, primarily aimed at the uh, teachers in the grade school and uh, and the uh, high school uh, levels, uh, to enhance uh, their uh, capabilities in uh, uh, teaching kids uh, basic uh, fundamentals of athletics: running, jumping, throwing. Uh, and of course, the second, third, and fourth uh, phases are the more advanced uh, courses for, uh, for coaches. Now, all of these are technical stuff, and uh, these this, these uh, uh, programs are supposed to uh, 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 go across the regions, uh, in John, uh, the Visayas, and uh, Mindanao. You know? uh, about at, at least a thousand five hundred uh, uh, coaches have been. Uh, uh, certified uh, in this ma manner over the last uh, couple of years. Uh, these programs started in 2011 uh, with the sponsorship of the uh, IAAF uh, at that time, and now it's uh, World uh, uh, Athletics. Uh, so uh, it's almost a decade uh, that uh, the Patapa has been uh, 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 doing uh, all these uh, programs for the coaches. Uh, uh, coaches are handling a uh, uh, great school uh, all the way up to the uh, uh, national and the uh, world uh, world uh, stage. You know, not only coaches but uh, officials to uh, handle uh, uh, international uh, uh, tournaments. We have people from uh, Manila, part of our offices, going into uh, regions in uh, the Visayas, and uh, on an annual basis, the Visayas and uh, Mindanao, and of course. Uh, 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 the Luzon uh, uh, area. Now, because of all of this uh, 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 pandemic uh, issues, uh, it will now be through the web. The disadvantage, of course, there's no face-to-face -face, uh, interaction with the uh, aspirants. Uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, uh, because of the, uh, the the web or the or because of the webinar, is that how you call it now? Uh, webinars. Uh, because of this, it cuts across through uh, 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 a lot of uh, uh, logistics, meaning uh, meaning a lot of people can uh, be accommodated uh, uh, at the same time. Vis-a-vis you know, -vis, uh, face-to-face uh, 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 instructions uh, in the past, it also mitigates the the cost. Because now, you don't need to you know the. Uh, there will be no more flight uh, people going to uh, Mindanao uh, from uh, Manila or uh, Visayas for that matter. Again, the disadvantages of this is uh, the face-to-face -face, uh, uh, interaction. Uh, but uh, again, uh, there are uh, there are some things that we can turn into advantages, which is uh, uh, the, cost, uh, the cost and the uh, logistics uh, 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 factors. So these are the programs that uh, we con we will continue uh, 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 despite uh, all of these uh, challenges uh, uh, is, uh, uh, upon us. So we intend to uh, <laughs> this or uh, start uh, doing this in uh, July. Uh, it has already been set out. Uh, Edward has already laid out the uh, the, uh, uh, the schedule for the rest of the year till the uh, till the December. So that is uh, what Patafa is uh, trying to get uh, busy at, uh, apart from the fact that uh, we still uh, we still have a training pool to, uh, to think about, you know. Uh, we still have about uh, uh, 48 uh, uh, athletes that uh, we uh, intend uh, to uh, uh, maintain in the pool, uh, 48 uh, men and uh, women that uh, will be submitted to the PSG for, uh, for approval, I think, in time uh, Sometimes this week, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman uh, uh, Rico. So, so, so yes, uh, we've been uh, pretty uh, much uh, on the line with each other, uh, uh, with the athletes, with the coaches, uh, with the staff in the uh, admin office of uh, Patapa, uh, even with the uh, EJ. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, with, uh, you know, with uh, a few, uh, uh, a little chat uh, a while ago, uh, 
uh, uh, not only with EJ, you know, the uh, thing I try to tell uh, athletes, uh, Filipino athletes, or even at the collegiate uh, level, is that, uh, yes, uh, your aspirations may be interrupted. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a given, you know. But, uh, but the fact of the matter is, everybody's, uh, uh, everybody's lives have been uh, disrupted in a really, really, uh, 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 mostly in a bad way. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's the whole planet, you know. Uh, so uh, we have to try to remember that uh, we're not the only ones uh, in this uh, situation. Uh, everybody around us is uh, equally in the, uh, equally uh, hit with the, all of these uh, uh, things that uh, we're now, we now have to, uh, you know, uh, in June. And uh, if we can get out of this, I guess, uh, keep telling uh, artists to embrace the, uh, 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 embrace the occasion, you know. Uh, actually, you know, uh, uh, Olympic qualifiers, for example, we're, we're still pretty lucky. We, st we can still do this. We, we can still, uh, uh, more or less, more than less, hope for uh, a July, uh, August uh, Olympic date in uh, 2021. Yeah. So uh, I think that we have to uh, uh, reset. Yeah. Uh, we set our uh, uh, mindset that this will go on in the 2021, that the Olympics will push to July, August 2021. That is how we will have to approach this, and that is how our thinking uh, should be. Uh, otherwise, we will lose, uh, uh, you know, we, we get uh, derailed a bit, and uh, we'll have uh, uh, distractions uh, uh, along the way. You know? Unfortunately, uh, in, ca in cases of athletes who are training outside the Philippines, it's uh, or, or outside their home uh, home base, uh, it's uh, a little harder. Uh, very obviously, and, uh, you know, I talked to uh, EJ a while ago, and uh, I can understand uh, the uh, the homesickness, uh, you know, especially with a young man who's uh, who's uh, pretty uh, who is. A, you know, good, uh, nice uh, family uh, that uh, he should be, uh, he should be living with. But unfortunately, the the call of the republic, the, you know, this is a national endeavor. And, uh, you have to understand that. And sabi mo ako ide kanina. And while you're cooking, cleaning the toilet in your place in your apartment, just remember the whole republic of the Philippines is right behind you while you're cleaning the toilet. So with that, uh, I hope I made you smile a bit, uh, EJ. And, uh, and uh, also, you know, you know, we're not gonna let this uh, pandemic uh, thing or whatever uh, this disaster uh, that has, uh, you know, uh, come upon our land and uh, the rest of the uh, planet. We're not gonna let these things stop us from doing uh, uh, things that. Uh, we should be doing, you know, we just cannot uh, sit down and uh, roll over and die and, uh, you know, uh, go hide under the, uh, under the blanket, you know. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, we're, uh, everybody in this uh, video conference, I think we're, we're still okay, you know, uh, compared to so many people that, uh, you know, uh, are no longer, uh, are no longer with us, period, you know. So, uh, yeah. It's a patafa, not only patafa, but the Philippine sports will continue. Uh, one way or the other, we'll find a way uh, uh, to do our uh, thing, to do our sports as safely as uh, we can, uh, with great regard for a human, uh, human uh, or safety of uh, our athletes and our uh, uh, fans, uh, spectators. If uh, spectators will will, uh, will be uh, a factor uh, in the near future. You know? So uh, with with that, I think uh, we have to uh, be hopeful and com confident. I am optimistic that uh, with or without the uh, uh, vaccine, some form, in uh, whatever form, uh, sports will have to uh, will have to continue. You know, we have to stay healthy. You know, if not for anything, we have to uh, uh, you know have uh, uh, allow ourselves to, uh, to maintain uh, uh, a a degree of uh, 
physical activity, whether uh, competitively or not. Okay. Yeah. May, I, may I add to what uh, Terry said about, about the programs? No. By the way, this case athletics is part of the athletic Olympic dividend, which the uh, World Athletics, under the term of Sebastian Co, given assistance to all NSAs in the beginning, but later on, just to select it. And we're happy to say that we are one of the few who was selected. Wow. Which country was selected? 40,000 dollars. Bravo. How much? Yeah. How much? $40,000. Wow. That's uh, so good. That used to be $25,000 a year. But now it's a one-time grant. Because it's like any other association, called the city in the print of this, uh, this pandemic. You know? Now, um, several days ago, uh, Mr. Kapitan and I spent several hours with our coaches and the uh, in uh, come up with a list. It says for one forty and we list of fifty seven. So those who were uh, removed, uh, unfortunately, and uh, yes, he has limited funds. And also, this is also to reward those who have been very active as medalists gold, silver, bronze medalist in the past uh, Southeast Asian Games and over, over the years. Uh, we used a scale, a system uh, from the ethics. It's very quantitative. So <clears throat> it's based on data records. So it's a very objective thing. And we told um, our coaches there is no more appeal because you once you start appeal, appealing, the it will move and you will have confusion. And if you allow one section, we will have a real problem. So uh, this is also part of our gesture to make it easier for the act. Because all of this time, since the national team has not been formed until today or tomorrow, uh, a lot of them do not receive their allowances. Yes. So that, this is one of the reasons why we had to watch this. They receive their allowances, especially at this time. So that is one of the things that occupied our time. And uh, Mr. Pistrano was there, and he uh, made a few insights on the process. Thank you, Mr. <clears throat> Sir Popoy, follow up long question. I'm glad sure. you're back in you're back in harness. Uh, one. The National Open will be in December. Is that correct? Yes, middle of December. Middle of December. And all of the, even the overseas athletes will be coming since it is going to be an Olympic qualifying event. We are hoping that will, that will uh, entice them. Uh, mm. We invite them, all of our ASEAN neighbors, mm. and many of them do come. So, okay. uh, the, even, also, even our field foreigners, the, sir, field foreigners will be coming over. And uh, we are hoping that the UAAP and NCAA athletes would come in in quite a number because their own tournaments were cancelled. Yes, sir. Ano, so, sang venue po, sir, gagawin? We are hoping to go to the field sport complex. Okay. Uh, Three days. Was uh, Popoy? Forty thousand dollars is about twenty million pesos, right? No, two million. Two million lang. <laughs> ah, two million. Okay, okay. Ah, okay. So, alamat tama niya. Fifty. Oh nga, five hundred thousand and ten. Ah, sir, what do you intend to, ano, to to spend them? Ah, uh, sa mga artists natin training for the Olympics and ah, uh, yung mga uh, hoping for qualifying. No, no more, no more, because the artists are already getting a lot of money from the government. Okay, mm. so we so use it. for projects more grassroots, as mentioned by Terry. We will oh. use cases for the kids' athletics. Uh, this is really grassroots for here, laying down the infrastructure 
to support the program. And that, uh, that was how it was used over the past years. Sir, go, go, can you give us an update on uh, mga Phil foreign players natin? Like sila KK, si Nat, uh, I, si, ba, si uh, Natalie Uy, di ba mga kuha niya rin sila? Eric Uy. Uh, are they training sila? Morrison. Morrison. They're training because there is no prison, no? Uh, there is not, there's nothing. Uh, the lockdown then. Except ngayon, uh, the cities are opening and the activities are opening, so they might uh, have new uh, training, uh, might have new competitions. But all of the previous ones that they've done uh, were all cancelled because of the down in, in America too. Um, the Christine Haliasgo uh, is leaving tomorrow for Bukidnon to train because she's not doing anything here. She cannot go out. She, so <clears throat> she uh, got in touch with me to help fix her uh, ticket to Bukidnon to the last one. And I asked Chairman Rufus Rodriguez to intercede. And I think just a while ago, Christine texted me that she Pia I don't know how she got in picture, paid for her ticket. And I will have to call her and thank her. So uh, Eric Ray, they're all still they're still training. Um, the Christina Nat, Carlo Butticelli, her listening coach, gave me a report, and uh, it's all training. It's all walang walang competition. Sir Popo, you mga protocols that you are submitted are based on the guidelines of the IWA. The quarantine uh, protocol. Guidelines in IWA, as far as I know. So, kay sir, NSAs, bali, ang, kayo sir, nag-craft itong mga protocols na to among the yeah, coaches. Yeah, yeah, Edward. Ako, uh, we all asked the comments of Mr. Capistran and we asked the comments of the coaches. So, it's a collective collegial effort. Sir, uh, are the foreign, field foreign athletes given enough uh, training support from uh, PSC? Because they are medalists. Yeah, they are separate. You want gold medalists at SEA Games. Uh, Natalie, Christina, Eric, William Morrison. Uh, they have a separate budget. This was already all, these were already all approved even before the pandemic. So they, they continue to receive uh, ano, financial support from the PSC? Well, they continue to receive their allowances and they, continue, they will receive now this... Uh, this uh, they've been receiving the, the training support. Sir, even Sabian, you've scale, reduced your national pool from how many athletes to how many now? From 57, naging 48. 48. 48. Divided into gold medalist, silver medalist, bronze medalist, and non medalist. Your bang delay of opening of classes to August will not affect your uh, national open December. <laughs> uh, we, will, we will still hold it. Uh, they can still participate or they, they may have their own reasons not to. But there are other. Uh, Participants, mga out of school youth, uh, out of school youth, and even other athletes. Remember, this will also serve as another tryout for the national team. And mm -hmm. hopefully, because this is a qualifier, some countries in the region might be able to lock here. Sir, see yeah. EJ ba? Uh, EJ, will you be coming over for the national open? I, I would like to. To be honest, I, that's that's a really good uh, competition to start off with. Um, it's in December, so you know the qualifiers are gonna be back, so that matters for my point in the national championship. You know, it's it's a big one, so I want to be there. Thank you. We are we are looking at William Morrison to qualify, uh, Shadow, and of course Christina not in the two hundred, and 
Eric Gray in the 400 meter hurdles. So if we're lucky, we will have EJ plus three more. So that will be four. Uh, one woman, uh, two women, no, sorry, Natalie Uy. Uh, Natalie, we could make it. Uh, <clears throat> although she's number three in Asia, her, uh, her uh, performance is a bit far from the uh, quali qualifying standard for Paul Holt in the Olympics. Actually, there is no Asian who can make who can meet the Olympic standard in pole vault, female as of now. The women, sir, the women stop. Women, oh. Wala. No one. Unless they adjust the qualifying standard, which they sometimes do. They did that in marathon before, uh, for the Rio Olympics. They lowered it because they noticed there will only be 20 qualifiers. And how does a marathon look like with 20 people running? No? You're used to seeing a marathon with hundreds Hundreds of heads bobbing and weaving, uh, they run. <clears throat> sir, we noted nga, sir, yung 218 sa Pilipinas, sa women's marathon. Pang, pang lalaki na natin, sir, yun. Two hours, Two hours and 18 minutes. That's already for sa men's. men's. Ah, sa marathon? Yes, sir, oh. women's marathon. The women's, no, the qualifying for the women's marathon, I think, is 229. Yes, sir. Which is faster than some of our kaya men. Kaya nga sir, mas mabili. Marami sa, kaya nga sir, sa men's natin, men's, men's na natin yan, actually. Yeah. Well, what can we do? That's the situation. So, we're thinking of, uh, despite, despite the disparity, we're still thinking of sending uh, Christina Liasgo abroad. Yes, sir. He can't make it to the Tokyo Olympics. Where is the next Sea Games in uh, Vietnam? Mm -hmm. Also in December, sir, next year. She's defending her title. Yes, sir. Sir Popoy, uh, do you uh, believe that all track events, 44 na yata ngayon with the relay, mga mix, can be played in the Philippines? Uh, kasi iba-iba naman yung mga uh, guidelines uh, ng, ano yun, no? ng mga bansa. Pero dito sa ating bansa, eh, wala bang uh, events sa... Uh, uh, track and field na pwedeng hindi ma matuloy like yung mga passing of baton? Pwede yun. Pwede yun. Pwede, Pwede yun. Uh, Lahat meron. We can come up with the uh, rules. Actually, tayo, yung national team natin, sa men, there are five events where we do not have any entries. 20 kilometer, 20 Rock. kilometer, hammer, Rock. long jump, 100, 100 meters, at saka, apa, so women, I think also about six. Though they will be played, but we will not have any entries. Or we will have entries to, to fill in the entry form. And uh, the, I dagdag ko lang kayo yung sa sinabi ni Sir Terry kanina about the uh, lined up projects of uh, Patafa. Expect us. Don't be surprised that we will be so visible online because <laughs> this, this situation has sort of forced us to go uh, above, no, go into the radar. Because before, for the past four years, we were under the radar. Eh. We, parang hindi niya naramdaman that we've been doing those grassroots things. We've been going to different parts of the country. Now, all of a sudden, you would see like, oh, and that program, it's all been going on since 2006. Actually, it's the earliest 2011, the kids' athletics. But now, everything would be seen online, and you would literally get to notice us. You could see us every day. Because even, <laughs> even, even with the, uh, what do you call this, the uh, conundrum of the death ed of uh, having a face-to-face -face class meeting they're still uh, deba debating whether they, it, it's possible it's safe for the kids to hold physical classes so in the event that this that the deaf would would opt to hold a parang distance education type of uh, classes we will be also uh, working with them in such a way that we would we could be their resource for physical education component because uh, athletics especially our run jump throw program uh, would be really up 
uh, in that in that uh, capacity. So we'll, we will uh, provide them with, uh, what do you call this, video uh, demonstrations of physical activities that kids could do at home. And at the same time, eventually, we would come up with weekly competitions for kids so that kids would be really motivated to do those act activities. So, you know, plan on it. As part of, aside from those uh, a grassroots program catered for the teachers and the coaches, also for the kids. So we will be really busy throughout the whole year, virtually. Yung weekly relays, kailan is a schedule ano? and weekly relays? I think uh, Janet could um, um, give uh, discuss that in detail, the weekly relays. Janet, the weekly relays, uh, Bong was asking. Well, let me just let me just come in first. Uh, this is still in the planning stage. So, wala pang details. Everything will be depend dependent on the <coughs> funding. But we mm -hmm. want to hold it the same way it was held before. In July, six weeks ending in November. Kana ganun. In the national open. November target. Yeah, because uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Janet. Over six weeks, yan, monthly, until November, yan, right? So, of course. Yeah. But we're, target, August. we're targeting August. If we cannot do it August, we will reduce it to several legs. Na lang. Basta we will do what we can under the circumstances. The world is not. You can weekly really know. Considered IAAF and uh, event if you if you uh, hit the record on qualifying, uh, the ma recognize? Uh, I don't know. I doubt it if it's uh, if it can if it is recognized. My level, yeah, that's it. Hmm. My level, uh, but you know uh, the records there become Philippine records. Oh yeah. yeah. Hi, sir. Uh, I have a question about... Yes, po. Uh, yung, kasi di ba yung last SEA Games we won a gold sa mixed relay, will this be a regular thing sa SEA Games or sa other international event? Yeah, I guess so because it's a principle that the World Athletics is trying to promote, gender equity, gender equality. So, it be good if there, uh, unless <laughs> there are extraordinary circumstances which will not allow it, like uh, a country prohibits any kind of uh, contact between male and female in, in, in the in the main arena. No? But uh, we do not expect that to happen. Uh, we think that this will continue. But it's that part, Sir, uh, Sir Popoy, of the Olympic uh, events in Tokyo, in Mixed right. Relay. It's not part of the. Is it part of the Olympic events in Tokyo? Which not, relay? We have we have to check. I wouldn't be surprised if it is included. Okay, sir. I believe it, it could be part because they have already uh, included that during the last the World Championships. So oh, once okay. once an yeah. event already been no, no, included in the World Championship. There's a high chance it's included in the uh, Olympics because it's the same IF who managed the whole that both events, eh, or the, the World Championship and the Olympics, uh, athletics in the Olympics eh, uh, event. Eh. Any more question? So I think uh, uh, we're uh, we have reached the I know the uh, uh, culminating part of our web conference. Before we finally uh, 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 call this uh, this first web conference a, a an adjournment, may isang suggestion, auto opt daw. So, <laughs> yeah. so give her best smile. So we'll uh, have a uh, auto op, and then I'll send you a copy of the. Uh, Patafa new normal protocol and at the same time the video and also the video of this uh, proceeding of our of our uh, 
conference. So at, and on, in, on behalf of Patafa, well, we'd like to thank all of you for making time for this uh, first web conference. We're planning to make this periodic, regular, uh, also maximize the whole thing. Now. Everybody is really uh, has all the time to be online. So thank you so much. Uh, and also to our bosses, okay, Sir Popoy, okay, Sir uh, Terry, and also to EJ for making time. Sorry, na, na, na payat na si EJ kanina. But I know uh, EJ as a, ano, eh, as a uh, heart of uh, steel. Eh. Uh, pinatibay na yan ang panahon. Eh. So kahit saan mo isa lang yan, kahit anong situation, eh, he'll be able to, to weather it. And also, I think Mr. Lester Castillo of, of Milo is with us. He's just uh, there uh, observing. And yeah, so Mr. Lester, <laughs> my, my <laughs> my <laughs> sports. So yon, you could take your video. Okay. 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 Sir Popoy, could you turn on your video? Do you do that? Turn on your video now. Sambay on. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Yon. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Uh, we'll uh, send. Yes, well, I'll send within the day uh, the copy of the proceedings.